Stay hungry. Stay foolish. And so rock bottom became the solid foundation on which I rebuilt my life. Sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. to your left, you fall 8,000 feet into Nepal. If you fall to your right, you fall 12,000 feet into Tibet. So uh, it's probably better to fall into Tibet because you live longer. But either way, you fall for the rest of your life. So. <laughs> My name is Tim Mosdow. I find it a tremendous compliment really that people are trusting of me to be their expedition leader. I, I find that a huge compliment and for a mountaineering instructor to be working on Everest is the highest accolade. When I got to the summit with my mate Stuart and with our climbing ship of Fenden there was a feeling of vulnerability. It wasn't a case of come on it was a case of, okay, so we're here, but we don't know what's going to happen on the way down. We don't know whether we're going to run out of oxygen or have equipment failure, whether the window will close sooner than anticipated. And so, yeah, uh, uh, we didn't start patting ourselves on the back. emotions that people will go through uh, will go from hopelessness about how difficult it feels and they're visiting 6,500 meters for the first time. How can I summit that if I feel like this down here? You know, and, and, and breathlessness, it, sheer and utter exhaustion. All is about having the courage to go for your dreams. If you're really passionate about something, if there's something that you really care about, it could be your family, you could be really passionate about your career, you could be dedicated to a sport or art. If it's something that you work hard for day and night, then success is not gonna come to you overnight. You're gonna have to work hard for it. If you want to see grown men cry, and women of course, then yeah, go and look at people coming back down to base camp who haven't summited, and then they realise that their dream is over. And you'll see people in, in tears, absolutely sobbing in tears. The temperatures can be 40 degrees below zero with winds 20 miles an hour or more. That's the kind of condition that you find on a summer day on Mars. If this is your passion, whatever the difficulty, whatever the obstacle, you're going to have to fight, you're going to have to work through it. And even if you fail, sometimes on an epic scale, you're going to have to be brave and continue. And all is about showing that hard work and dedication are really rewarding. Come down, that success is just, it's liberating. There's, there's this feeling of, yeah, Elation, but you don't walk down the trail going, Hey, my name's Tim, I'm just Summit Everest. Hi, I'm just Summit Everest. You walk down the trail quietly reflecting on this tremendous experience. So you've got to have that drive, that determination, that passion to want to go there. I mean, one guy is his third attempt. That is a huge amount of motivation. Everyone's got the ability to summit and the desire and the motivation to summit. Whether that will happen is, is another call. We'll find out. So if you're interested in following the progress of the film and keeping up to date with the team's live summit attempt of Everest in April, you can follow everything via the website 
allthefilm.com or on Facebook and Twitter where we'll be posting pictures, videos, articles of everything that's happening on Everest while we're there. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you soon.